This video is on understanding the yield curve for U.S. Treasuries. This is an incredibly important concept to understand. And it doesn't matter what area of finance you're in. This is the one chart that everybody looks at. And I think it's important to understand why everybody watches this chart. So what is it? Um, this is a chart. You can find it on uh, most financial websites. And it shows what U.S. Treasuries are trading on the market. And you can really draw this chart for the bonds of any organization. But usually when we talk about the yield curve, we're talking about U.S. Treasuries. Um, I'm going to put up an example. And this is kind of what a typical yield curve looks like. And this is just an example because these prices change over time depending on what's going on in the market. But along the bottom of the chart, what you see are different durations, and these are different maturities of bonds. And along the side, you're going to see uh, different yields. So what we mean by yield is you should think of it in terms of what's the return you should expect to receive by purchasing this investment at the current market price. Um, we're talking about bonds here, and so bond is a, a, a loan agreement for a set principal payment amount and set interest payments. And that set principal amount is known as the face. Well, since these are trading on the market, you can actually pay more or less than the face amount or purchase these for a premium or a discount. And depending what price you pay for them in the market, determines how much profit you're going to make. So if you pay a higher amount, you're going to make less profit. And if you pay a lower amount, you're going to make more profit. So the yield is kind of a combination of the uh, difference from the face amount that you, you make when you purchase the investment, plus the interest that you can expect to receive. So I showed you an example of what would be a normal looking curve. And if you look at the shape of the curve, it is gradually increasing with longer durations of time. So let's think about why that makes sense. Um, I've talked about how the higher the risk, the higher the return you should expect to receive. Well, in this case, um, a U.S. Treasury is essentially you giving your money to the U.S. government, and they'll give you an IOU that they'll give you set interest payments over time. Well, if you're giving somebody your money for a short period of time, that's less risky than if you give somebody your money for a long period of time. So when you look at a yield curve, what you would expect to see is that as durations increase, the yields or you know, the return you should receive should also generally increase over time. And so that's what you generally see in a normal yield curve. The reason why people care is that what we've seen historically when we, look, when we watch the yield curve for U.S. Treasuries is that at certain periods of time, the yield curve inverts. And an inverted yield curve means that um, securities of shorter durations are actually trading with higher yields than securities of longer durations. So this is a little different than what you would expect. And historically, this has happened directly before a large recession. So this has proven to be a useful predictor for downturns in the economy. And there's a couple of different reasons of why this occurs. Um, but just to give you a simplified explanation, um, during, right before a recession, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty in the market. 
And so people are shifting their asset allocations for their investments. Um, they want to, uh, there's a higher demand for risk-free investments. And so this change in supply and demand is going to impact the prices in the marketplace. And so the yield curve inverts. Um, but what you want to do is when you're looking at the yield curve, it's kind of just a barometer for how the bond markets are doing. And if the, the yield curve is in a normal shape, you know that you're looking at a healthy, normal bond market. If it's inverted, you know that you want to look more into seeing what's going on. So that's one reason why people care about the yield curve. But that's not the most important reason. The most important reason people watch the yield curve is because U.S. Treasuries are used as the benchmark for the risk-free rate. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in my next video.